guys, this is Adrian from Engine Facts, and today I'm gonna teach you uh, how can you do 2D tracking and plan tracking in Nuke. Yes, but before starting a tutorial, guys, must like, must share, must comment because this thing helped me to make more videos for you guys. So, help me to make more videos for you guys. Yeah, so just share it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so let's jump into our tutorial. Let's see our footage first. So, you guys can see it's a pretty decent shot so we're going to do 2d tracking and plan uh, tracking this footage i'm going to teach you yeah so this is very simple this is not like quite different so let's <clears throat> okay so we're going to track this light <coughs> so for that for this for the tracker just hit tab and write tracker T R A C K E R. yes you will get this tracker just hit it and just connect to your footage just double click it and hit add track okay it will give you a tracker this is very simple like, uh, like every software you can see there's a box inner box and an outer box basically the inner box work like it find the patch it, it store the patch patch area basically just give him like the <coughs> what's your patch and and the outro search that patch in the other next frame so if you f just make it according to your footage like like this okay so let me just make some space yeah okay okay so okay so this is the stop button and this is like frame by frame tracking forward and backwards and this is a continuous tracking till end so and backwards so we're going to use this one <clears throat> till the end so you guys like watch over here you can see uh, our tra track is pretty solid and yeah and it's and we get a really nice result you can see yeah this is really good so let's attach something let's make a text layer and attach over here so you guys can see properly uh, how to attach your anything to, to your tracker so <clears throat> just hit tab and write text for the text node select it and just write anything you want let's uh, let's write agent facts for now uh, okay so guys I just uh, I made a, a text layer with, with their position I just <coughs> put over here in the middle of the frame so just hit M for the merge knot because we have to watch the both so okay yeah this you can see guys so just do one thing uh, just take your tracker and connect underneath your text layer just go into tracking and just <coughs> select uh, transformation knot to match move and set to current frame and now you guys can see is a, our text layer is track a test to our tracker and yeah this is really good so that's how we do 2d tracking and attach with your tracker so yeah it's, it's nice so let's see the planet tracking for now let's put it inside let's, let me just do it like this yeah okay just put it yeah so guys let's see now planet tracking for the planet tracking you have to uh, just search planet tracker in the notes hit tab and write it and select your planet tracker just connect connect your planet tracker to, to your footage just double click it and um, let's find out where we can okay so let's track let's track this building with the planet tracking okay so just select you basically it's like mocha it it track textures so just make a spline like this okay. so okay so after making a spline just hit your tracking basically we in last frame so we're tracking backwards so hit it uh, it's not tracking okay let me just uh, yeah it's tracking okay so it's tracking it starts tracking and it's looking pretty good yeah it's pretty solid 
with uh, with the help of plant tracking we get a uh, position and rotation also so this is really good and guys you can see it's pretty solid you can see a tracker is pretty solid and it's trick oh and it's really we really we really get a nice result so that's how we do plant tracking and 2d tracking so just add that to so let me just show you one more time the 2d tracking results that we got yeah, so this is really good so and so guys this is basic tutorial it's not too, too advanced and guys one more thing when you go into tracker there's a key like you can see this X key so basically if you hit this one uh, you you can delete keyframes before your <coughs> before and after your bar like this okay so I hope you guys learned something good so guys if you have any specific tutorial request just let me know I will make that for you until then peace out